What is happening my YouTube family? It's your boy Tito checking in. As you can see by the title of this video, I will be discussing about the exercise science major, whether I think it's worth it or not. And um, you know, if this video interests you, feel free to watch for the next six to six to eight minutes. Hopefully it will be around that range um, and learn something about this major and what are my thoughts on it. But if you're not interested in this, then you don't have to watch it because I don't normally make a video like this and I know that it will be beneficial to a lot of you because they have questions on exercise science as a whole all the time. And being that I finished all my classes in the exercise science major, I have 13 weeks left, so it's September 11th right now. Uh, I graduate in December, so I have 13 weeks of my internship left, which is the final thing I have to do before I graduate, and then I'm completely done. So I thought that you know now would be the time for me to give you guys my input on the major because if I was me four years ago right now, I would want to know everything that I'm about to discuss with you guys right now. And there isn't a set, you know, structure to what I'm talking about. I'm just thinking out loud and hopefully you guys get something from this video. You know, maybe you search exercise science on Google and my video came up and you don't even know who I am at all. You know, I hope that you get something from this video. Leave a comment below and let me know about your thoughts on whatever I'm saying it is if, if it interests you um, as we go on along with this video and we can discuss because I respond to most comments out there, okay? So, few things first, I wanna discuss the exercise science, guys, is not an easy degree by any means. I get people asking me what my GPA is all the time. I let them know and then they say that your GPA is that good because you are an exercise science major and it's an easy major. First off, with that, I wanna say that I don't really like what people say because your major is easy, that's why you have a good GPA. Of course, there are way harder majors than some other majors out there, right? Like for instance, a biochemistry major might be harder than an art major. It is harder, but it's not easy. No college major is easy. You know, I can go take art classes right now, all the classes that they have to take, and I would find it incredibly hard. Same with, you know, biology with art, art to biology, vice versa, all that. Um, so it's relative, of course, but I don't like it when people say it's because your major was easy. And exercise science is definitely not easy. Some classes, for instance, um, that you guys will have to take if you guys are thinking about it is Anatomy Physiology 1, Anatomy Physiology 2, which are the weeding out classes, by the way, you normally take that at the beginning of the, the major. Um, biomechanics, Pathophysiology, Exercise Physiology, Strength and Conditioning, Pharmacology, uh, the list goes on and on, you know. Uh, just a fun fact, in my Anatomy Physiology class, the weeding out class, there were 55 students, I believe. Four of us got an A, including myself. So I think that that tells you enough right there how hard it is. You know, a lot of people think the exercise science major, exercise science, kinesiology, movement science, whatever you guys may call health fitness. Um, people think that you go in there, you learn about, you know, bicep curls and how to run and all that, but it's not that at all. There's maybe one class that teaches you about certain exercise so you can properly demonstrate and explain to special populations, you know, maybe like older people and all that. But for the most part, it's learning more about everything else, you know, all the harder stuff, how this system works with this system to create this system. What happens to this system when you eat this or what happens to this system when this system's down? The list goes on and on. It's, it's by no means easy. So I want to get that out of the way in case you are thinking that or if you just want an, an easy major to go through in college because you don't know what you want to do. Exercise science isn't easy. You know, I would say that I, I'm not genius or anything. Definitely not. But I'm smarter than the average bear. I'm a very hard worker and I put in a lot of time to do good. So if you want to do good with the exercise science major, you have to put in the time. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're not going to do that good. The second thing I want to say is that like a lot of majors, exercise science isn't a professional degree. And what I mean by that is a professional degree is a degree that you take and it leads you to, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. It leads you directly to a job. For example, let's say there is a college that has a nursing major. I know there's nursing programs, but usually they don't declare major in that. But anyways, nursing major, that leads, that leads you directly to a nursing job. Athletic trainer leads you directly to be an athletic trainer, accounting leads you directly to be an accountant, etc. Exercise science is a stepping stone degree, meaning that it's almost not worth it to take if you don't plan on doing anything with that. And I, I wish that I had someone tell me that back when I first started. 
Um, of course, there are probably schools that say, you know, this and this and this and this, but I just wanted to declare a major because education is huge in my family and I just wanted to get a degree, but that's besides the point. Um, you need to use that as a stepping stone to get into a different field in order to get good use out of the degree. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless because some jobs you can get with the degree. I think I made something up right here um, just to name off a few so I don't sit here and think about them forever is graduates work in corporate facilities, which you need a degree for to do that corporate facilities because that's what my internship is right now. Uh, fitness centers, you don't need a degree to work in fitness centers. Of course, it makes you look better and some places require it. But if you wanna be a personal trainer right now, you could go and take a three month course online and you will have enough information to get your training certificate, which I think is BS by the way. I think that, that that's crazy that you don't need a degree to be a trainer, but that's just how it works at this moment in time. So that's one thing. Uh, work in fitness centers, hospital wellness programs, you may need a degree for that, community centers, or athletic programs. So as you can see, there isn't much out there for just an undergrad in exercise science degree. You know, it's not a lucrative field. There's not a lot of opportunity out there. But I'm not saying that you, you need to get a job that is exercise related. For example, I had, you know, uh, I guess we could call him a friend at the gym that I work out at Anytime Fitness and you know I call my friend because we met a few years ago we talk a lot whenever we see each other in the gym and um, I would consider him a friend but he's a president of a company around here it's a pretty big company and it's an engineering company and he actually gave me his card and said you know if you want to do an internship here or if you want to work here after you're graduated give me a call and that just goes to show you know most people actually I would even say 75% of people don't even work you know, what they do as a job or career, it's not even remotely related to what they took as a major in college, right? Engineering, <clears throat> I've exercised science, completely different. So that's that. Um, but you want to use as a, a stepping stone, like I was saying, otherwise you're not gonna be able to do much with it if you want to do something exercise related. Um, of course, there's a lot of jobs out there that require you to have a certain degree, but also there's a lot of jobs that don't. So, um, for example, you want to use it to go to physical therapy school, occupational therapy, PT, OT, uh, phys physician assistant, dietitian. Um, there are a lot of different routes you can take in order to make this degree useful, but as a standalone degree, if, that, if that's what you want to do with it, you don't plan on going any further, then I think that there are better options because exercise science isn't a lucrative field or a degree that will look that good for you. Um, of course, a lot of employees, like a lot of employers, like I said, just care about the fact that you went through college and the, the character that you have and the type of person and the hard worker that you are. But uh, for the most part, if you don't know what you want to do, I wouldn't choose exercise science as a degree, okay? Uh, because myself personally, like I was saying, I wish I knew these a few years ago because up until I, I would even say two weeks ago, I didn't know what I wanted to do coming out of college, and for the most part, I still don't right now. I was planning on just going and working, and that may still be the case, you know, just finding a job wherever I go. Um, I think I could probably get a job fairly easy, but if you want to do something with it and, you know, even make good money, I don't even know what kind of money I can make with that, but if you want to make good money, you have to go on. So I was thinking, you know, maybe going to physical therapy school, which is the original plan, um, going to physician assistant school, one of those two, which is what I was thinking. Um, I only need you know, a few classes left. I have like five classes left if I wanted to go that route. Otherwise, I, I have an exercise science degree right now. But um, now I'm just thinking out loud. But other than that, that that's exercise science in a nutshell for you guys. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. But it's a degree that is a stepping stone for you to go on to further fields. You don't use it just as a standalone degree, I wouldn't recommend that. So that's the video, guys. If you have any questions, once again, leave a comment below. I hope you enjoy this video. We are approaching 10 minutes, so we're gonna wrap it up right here. Tito checking out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Peace out, guys.